Just a little experiment here for my own edification. These are identical items, fully symmetrical, hermaphroditic, and I've printed them in two different orientations, vertical and horizontal. And as you know, 3D printing has a grain because of the way the layers are bonded. So in theory, the one with the horizontal grain is more suited to the purpose of the design and the one with the vertical grain is more likely to break when used. I'm going to test them out and see how they compare. So before I actually film the testing I thought it would be kind of cool to just show these a little closer up so you can see the difference the differences between the structure like it's really cool how you can see the um, grain direction of this one and it definitely changed the topology quite a bit on the sort of most important part of the design <laughs> like look at the difference of these ends that's pretty cool <clears throat> alright so Here's how these work. Like I said, fully symmetrical hermaphroditic interface. So they click together like this. Even though they're identical, they can interlock. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is hook up a driver to each side of this, the same relative power going in opposite directions and turn them at a slow speed until one of these snaps. Alright so here they are in the drivers and now I'm going to link them together. Alright so now I'm going to pull the triggers at approximately the same time and see what happens. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> instantly, instantly, the um, vertical one broke, as predicted, with uh, right along the, the green line of the, the layers, exactly as you would predict. So, yeah, now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out another one of the horizontal ones and see if one of them breaks just as quickly <clears throat> with the same test. Thanks for watching.